They really do, but they still want to do some of the things that Moses taught. All right. Yeah. You know, just to help the promise along a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and so the author works them through this composite belief system in order to demonstrate how their new belief system is actually superior to that old thing. Right. You want to believe in angels? <clears throat> Let me tell you. Jesus is superior to angels. Right. You want to hold on to angels, he says? He says, but to which one of the angels has he ever said? Right. Sit at my right hand until I make your enemy right. a footstool. All right. You want to hold on to the things of Moses? Yeah. He says that Moses was a faithful servant of God. Yeah. Moses was a great lawgiver. Right. Yet he says Jesus is worthy of more glory than Moses. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that Moses was bad, but don't you see we got something better than a Moses? Yeah. 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 All right. And yet too many of us are stuck in that legalistic mindset. You know, you know, we believe in grace, yes, sir. Yeah. but we also believe in punishing folk mm. for what we think they do. All right. <laughs> Journey is what 
keeps us in the meantime. We've come this far, not because your granddaddy believed in you, but the Lord. We come this far, not because we believe in though it's all of our shoulder. We come this far because of our faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's faith that gives substance to the journey. Faith is the tipping point between maturity and immaturity. Okay. Let me, explain, let, me, let me try to explain it another way. I'm going to sit down. I don't cook. All right, all right. Nevertheless, you can see I'm a little foodie. So, and, and, and I made it a point to align myself with people who do cook. All right, all right. And since I don't cook, I've never made gumbo. All right, all right. Yet they tell me there's this central element to the gumbo. All right. Called the root. Oh. And no matter what you put in the gumbo, your chicken, your shrimp, your sausage, your okra, whatever you put in there, all of that would just be soup if it wasn't for the roux. It's the roux that gives the gumbo its consistency. It's the roux that transforms the concoction from just soup into gumbo. Well, faith is the roux. Without us. Yes, 
So the author of Hebrews then again raises this issue of endurance and brings the argument to its conclusion by saying, Therefore, Therefore. since we are surrounded. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Don't reach back for the number. Yeah. Don't reach back for Google Docs. Yeah. 